Welcome back for another video. Before we begin this video though, I just want to let y'all know Barrio Tales hoodies are now available. Red, black, purple, orange, and blue. Cash App and PayPal are how you can reach me. They're only $25 with free shipping. Don't just look at it, wear it. T-shirts are also available still. All you gotta do is hit that Cash App and PayPal that you see right there. Thank you. Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about how a gang member's pocket dial helped solve a valley murder case. It was a cool, cloudy afternoon looking like rain in April 2013 when two brothers from a Los Angeles area gang, the Rockwood Street Locos gang, it was in the late afternoon of April 24, 2013 that the Carpio brothers, 20-year-old Michael Stephen Little Loco Carpio, and his 18-year-old brother, Anthony Baby Loco Carpio, known on campus as the Rockwoods for their membership in a Rampart area street gang, Rockwood Street Locos. The brothers went to pick up their 15-year-old brother, George, a Cleveland Charter High School student in Reseda. The brothers have been raised in Los Angeles where they've been jumped into Rockwood. Their parents moved the family to Panorama City in order to escape the clutches of gang life. That's where they spotted 18-year-old Kevin Oriana, who had graduated from the Reseda High School a year before and still liked to play handball on campus after school with friends. Though Oriana sported a shaved head and numerous tattoos, he had always shunned anything to do with gangs. Where you from? Little Loco demanded, hitting up Oriana. I'm not from anywhere, Oriana said, as the Cleveland football team practiced on a nearby field. I'm not in any gang. The five foot nine gang member threw the first punch, but the shorter and lighter Kevin soon got the best of him. The elder Carpio went down. Then his younger brother pulled out a black handled knife from his front pants pocket and stabbed Oriana twice in the chest. Someone screamed, he's been stabbed. The brothers fled the Cleveland football team in hot pursuit toward the parking lot, but got away in a maroon minivan. Oriana rushed to Northridge Hospital Medical Center, but he died at 5.01 p.m. Doctors found one knife wound deep enough to pierce his heart. One student said he had heard one suspect had a large L.A. Dodgers tattoo on the right side of his head, a mark often seen on someone walking through Cleveland High. He didn't know his name, but knew he may have been in the Rockwood gang. I think I know the bad guy, he told police. He then went onto Instagram and pulled up the photo of the murder suspect, a self-satisfied looking snap of a man holding a UV vodka bottle. It would help the LAPD gang impact team identify him as Michael Carpio. Investigators recognized Michael as a survivor of a 2012 shotgun blast. A family friend soon told police of the pocket call, which revealed the in-flight conversation that took place among Michael and Anthony Carpio and Michelle Pineda, who ordered the brothers to hide him back. A digital copy was made of the voicemail. A Spanish language TV station provided links to recorded YouTube interviews of witnesses who heard Anthony say, I stabbed Kevin after the murder. Pineda, Michael Carpio's girlfriend, drove them to Santa Monica where they picked up Michael and Anthony's mother and went for a round of shopping at a mall. They then changed clothes in the back of the van. Anthony shanked a fool in the neck, the older brother said, of his younger sibling recorded during an unintentional cell phone call during the getaway get down in the back seat his girlfriend driver told him as she and the killers peeled out of the parking lot detectives didn't know where the carpios lived but through school records police soon tracked the one trio to an apartment in panorama city where they were arrested around midnight when they returned home the murder weapon was never found the brothers would later plead not guilty in the stabbing death. When interviewed by police, Michael Carpio accused Oriana of mad dogging him or giving him a threatening look. He said he wouldn't let his brother in the car if he'd known he'd been armed. When asked if Anthony had stabbed Oriana, he said he didn't know, but that his little brother wasn't the same anymore and that juvenile prison camp had changed him. 
Anthony Carpio initially denied going to Cleveland High School that day, but then admitted to being on campus while denying being involved in a fight. When asked directly why he stabbed the victim, police said he shook his head back and forth and shrugged his shoulders. When asked what that meant, his response was, I don't know. Michael Carpio's girlfriend, Michelle Pineda, was sentenced to two years in county jail after pleading no contest to one count of felony accessory for driving the getaway minivan and knowledge of a crime. 18-year-old Anthony Carpio was sentenced to 16 years to life in prison. Both Carpio brothers of the Rockwood Street Gang were each found guilty of one count of second-degree murder of 18-year-old Kevin Oriana, who was not a gang member. 20-year-old Michael Stephen Carpio was sentenced to 15 years to life in prison.